airplanes or bring down helicopters or whatever. They can actually just bring down five or six planes at once. Just one little <clears throat> one vehicle with set up like that can are stronger and nothing happens. That to help or describe what's happening to them, they get referred to the mental hospital. At anyone, uh, any adjudication without any law enforcement be able to uh, simulate mental illness and in a person and then when they try to get help or describe what's happening to them they get referred to the mental hospitals and then that's a success because they're permanently um you know meanwhile there's all kinds of different motives i guess the one the one on the ground is to get what you have obviously to to to, to make a buck for example to um to focus on, say, women and turn them into human trafficking victims by breaking them down and breaking their will down with these psychotronic weapons, with the idea that as soon as they, you know, before they can actually get any help or that anyone would believe them, they oftentimes expire. In other words, there's a, a human sudden death syndrome involved in electronic stalking where a lot of people are now, <clears throat> because the weapons are so much stronger, now, now the military weapons, if they aim that at you, you'd be dead instantly. That that you have to understand that Th those energy directed weapons are um, used in the battlefield. Like that, what they'll do is they'll have a way to you know, and they they use these with lasers to bring down airplanes or bring down helicopters or whatever. They can actually just bring down five or six planes at once. Just one little <clears throat> one vehicle with set up like that can take out an array of. Uh, of incoming uh, 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 hostiles. So, you know, the military is, seems to be focused more on the energy-directed weapons. And like I said, I've known people that worked on these programs. And uh, it's kind of hard for me to believe that someone I, you know, and, and it's, it's not who you think, but uh, just, just that I know uh, someone that was like sort of preaching the gospel while working on the weapons. And I'm sort of like, well, what is it? Which, what side do you want? I mean, you know, there is that question, right? Like, what, what, you know, and, and I don't even want to know anything about it. You know what I mean? But this is a guy that was working at uh, Sandia Labs here. And he'd come here every once in a while to work here. And he was based in, uh, well, I don't want to give any more info. But it just, um, you know, it's a strange world out there, folks. It's a really strange world. And this world that I'm dealing with is the world of gang stalking electric you know energy weapons but then there's a supernatural component too that maybe it's part of the ai kind of thing that can seem like magic to people but to where you get you know people seeming like random bystanders staring at you you know with hostile looks on their faces bystander yet you know people seeming like random bystanders staring at you, you know, with hostile looks on their faces, you know, or coming at you or bumping into you or, you know, making it impossible for you to, to move your car. It just seems it, wherever you get, there's this coordinated um, attack. And again, in, in, and then you turn the radio on and the guy is talking to you directly and then you're trying to get to, you know, and it just the weird things that we would uh, we, we would think would be supernatural in some way, because how could it be prearranged? Then there's a good old fashioned tracking of they surveil you so they know where you are, where you're going to go. And the uh, and the A.I. can tell, you know, the, the supercomputers, whatever the network can tell the people that are perps to wait for you here and then you'll arrive there. Right. They can make a prediction as to where you'll be. So which is it? And, um, you know, there are people that are afflicted with this and, and they say, well, there's, you know, a thousand people against us. I don't know who they are. And so there's that that proliferation of lists that goes on where a person, say, may be marked in one way. The next thing you know, it's like there's a million people hostile. All coordinated and so, like it, it doesn't it, it seems so unreal that it's it, it, it just it just doesn't seem like anything that could be planned at all in any way, shape, or form. People are just not that regulatable. 
And then, of course, there's the invasion of your car, your space, your tracking chips. And then, of course, there's the invasion of your car, your space, your tracking chips. People have been in the military. Did they have a chip or something? You know, is there there's some way of... There, there's just, you know, it, it just seems so coordinated that people don't believe it. See what I mean? It's too much. And so when a person tries to describe, yeah, then this guy and then this guy over here and this guy over here too, I don't, that, that guy over there, you know, and that guy right there and this guy over here. And so when a person tries to describe, yeah, then this guy and then this guy over here and this guy over here too, I don't, that, that guy over there, you know, and that guy right there. And then, uh, you know, uh, the, they did something to the wires and my, something with my, my car. It's not, you know, they're, they're using my car as a weapon against me. I can't drive it, you know. And they'll say, look, I got someone for you to see who could help you. you know, maybe you need to be in a 72-hour hold at the mental hospital, which, of course, they're going to be building those like at breakneck speed now because this thing's, the testimonies have gotten out of control on this thing. The growing number of people have gone far, far in excess of what anyone would call mental illness, right? So, th so now they're they're like, well, then they're already preparing for the for the post era of Trump, where they can round them up and deal with them, because the people that are targeted, I guess overall you could say there's one thing in common, but the main thing is they just don't. They're just really not the kind of people that they want in the future. And that'd be safe to say because the program is to drive all to death ultimately. To eliminate them from society. To marginalize. And the whole thing about uh, taking people down, people are commodities so that you can use them, you can steal what they have, you can, you can break them down over time. And, and, and get what you can, as these jackals do. And then finally kick them off the cliff, either to institutionalization, death, whatever. And now the newest thing, because the weapons are much more strong, we have sudden death. People just give out. They commit suicide because they just can't take it anymore. The only place that I know of where something could exist like that would be hell, could not exist on earth. It would have to be hell. Because the entire thing is orchestrated by Satan, the entire thing is orchestrated by the demonic. It is 100% demonic, it is magical. It does defy logic and science. And it is um, basically predatory in the sense that it is looking for good people to destroy. In fact, of the people I've met, I haven't really met any bad people who have gone through this uh, experience. But, I mean, it must be horrifying to really show up in a, uh, somewhere in the marketplace, the square, you know, where you're just, you haven't done any harm to anybody. You're just trying to be a human and participate in human activity and to have the whole place turn on you. It's just so humiliating and degrading and to know you can never go there again. Your own community has made it so that you, you can't leave your home. And are they just mean? Are they all the same? Who are these people? Why the unison? Most people disagree on some things. They disagree on, you know, the, the color of the sky. They disagree on politics. They disagree on religion. Why wouldn't they, why would they be in lockstep agreement on the fact that you are the enemy of the state? You are the enemy of all humanity. Why would they all say yay to that you who've done nothing wrong are the enemy of all? Why would they all focus on you as the enemy? And I have the answer. Don't worry. I'm not going to let you down. I have the answer. It's because if they don't adopt that, they're next. And because they have special knowledge of the inside, they will be killed if they don't go along with it. Period. 
It's because if they attack a legend on you as the enemy, and I have the answer. Why would they all focus on you as the enemy, and I have the answer? Don't worry. I'm not going to let you down. I have the answer. It's because if they don't adopt that, they're next. And because they have special knowledge of the inside, they will be killed if they don't go along with it. Period. You, you, already, you already know that they're next anyway. They, they're next whether they comply and go along. Or if they decide to be on my side. Either way, they next. Either way, they ain't getting away with it. Or their children. Or whatever they love. Or their finances or whatever. And they don't want people going after their finances or their children. So they will play along. Then there's that part of them that's sadistic. The fallen human condition that gets off on playing a small part and targeting a person, an individual, and then watching them get tortured, degraded, hurting, and suffering, and watching them melt all the way down to death or to some horrible event. For them, it's exciting, it's dramatic, they get off on it because they're on Satan's side, they get off on other people's suffering, that's why. They've developed a taste for it because they got initiated into it. Satan's side is just basically a mirror image of this. On this side, we are rewarded in some way, you know, even if it's just in your heart, when we do good to others, right? We do good to others, we have compassion for other people. We, 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 we um, help a person out in some way, you know, we just kind of like, you know, and when, when there's tragedies and things like that, we, we, we come up a notch or two in being humanitarian. The other side, there's no reward for that. Only that if you use it as a front, like you pretend to be charitable, you give donations to the cancers or whatever, so people see you as a philanthropist, but it's all part of your act to hurt people. And so then, you know, you'll be behind the scenes, you know, you'll, you'll own uh, whatever, you'll own, you know, shares in the Raytheon Corporation that's developing a lot of these weapons <clears throat> or something to that effect or Boeing or one of these. And, uh, and then, and then, you know, it's, it's, it, it just, it, it's just based on, the idea that um, you would get power from the harm of people around you while deceptively convincing them that you're on their side. Does that make sense? And that's how the, the best of them are that way. Okay, but still the same principle. If they really do good to anybody, they get taken out. They're seen as a failure. They're seen as softening. So they have to do harm to everyone around them. That's where we have wars, rumors of wars, economic calamity, uh, entrenched poverty, uh, sickness and death all over the world because these people have sold their souls to Satan and it's upon it's incumbent upon them to keep that suffering in place and even political parties, right, all keep the suffering in place, i.e. don't solve any of the problems, right? Uh, don't do good for humanity because then you'll be taken out. Because the world system is dependent on that very thing. Even a child initiated into the dark side, to Satanism, learns very quickly that he must hold his own and pull his own weight. And he does that by harming other people. That's the only way that you can succeed in that system. I know there are people in that system who are big-time Christians and very charitable, they're very giving, but at the end of the day, there is still that bloodletting that has to happen. It's the saddest thing that I know of. I, it breaks my heart every day to watch human degradation and suffering because of a few assholes who refuse to um, <clears throat> give up whatever it is, who, who spent millions and billions of dollars on their images to make people think they're good people when in fact they're responsible for the world being the what it is these honchos are people you see every day in the news when in fact they're responsible for the world being the what it is these honchos are people you see every day in the news <clears throat> 